am Sheila. Welcome to Yoga for Where You Are. Today's yoga practice is a standing yoga practice. And you know, one of the great things about yoga, one of the many great things, is yoga takes you where you are, right? Where you are today, at this moment. Not where we were yesterday or where we hope to be, but it takes us just right in this moment. So today's theme is yoga where you are. And for that reason, I have a standing practice for us. And it's a practice that we have a standing um, uh, warm up and a standing cool down. And then we have four sections in between. One that it revolves around standing sun salutations, one around warrior one, another section around warrior two, and then the final section um, where we move through some positions in more of a wide leg position, uh, wide leg um, um, sun, uh, sun sweeps, um, a goddess pose, various poses where we're in more of a wide leg position. But the whole practice is standing yoga where you are. Sometimes you want to practice a little yoga, but you're, you're out of town or you're someplace where you don't even have a mat, right? And so you don't need a mat today. I am on a mat versus my wood floor, which might be slippery, but you don't need a mat today. These are little segments that you can do anytime, wherever you are. And you can do this whole practice in one time, or you could take the warm up and the cool down and then just insert one of the four middle sections. So maybe today you're running through the whole thing and then after that, you could just choose a section if that's what you wanted to do. So yoga where you are, welcome. And of course, because it's yoga where you are, you don't need anything with you. Um, I, again, I'm on a mat. You can use a block. Obviously, if, you have, if you're at home right now and you have a block, go ahead and use your block. Um, when we're in standing sun salutations, it's a great thing to have, but you can also use anything that is nearby you. And I'll, I'll show you more about that as we go. So today is uh, what we would call a hands-free practice, completely standing. So thanks for joining me and we will get started. So we're gonna start yoga where you are, where we are right now. So standing and we're gonna build our mountain pose. So standing with your feet about hip distance apart, go ahead and just start maybe with some shoulder rolls, just gently bringing the shoulders up to the ears, lowering them down and back, just getting some movement in the shoulders as we transition from our daily tasks that we're doing to this time for a little bit of yoga. Excellent. And then from here, let's go ahead and inhale as we reach the arms up and exhale as the shoulders soften down. From here, just slowly reach up with one hand and reach up with the other hand, moving back and forth, stretching the spine, lengthening, and breathing. And then one more, let's stretch both arms up and then just roll the wrist as we bring the head towards the chin, towards the chest, the head softens down. Excellent. And we come into standing in mountain pose. Now in this mountain pose, I invite you to just stop and take some slow inhales and exhales option. You can keep your eyes open or you can soften the gaze, soften the focus, or even close your eyes, but just allowing yourself some nice inhales and exhales. I say nice inhales and exhales, and frankly, aren't all inhales and exhales nice? But drawing your attention to our inhales and exhales. So taking a few more breaths. From here, if your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them. And now we're gonna inhale, bend the knees as we sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Just drop the chin towards the chest. A little bit of bend in the knees. We're just gonna start adding some movement in to our breath. And then this last time, let's let the arms float down 
add a couple shoulder rolls and just giving a nice neck stretch. Let's take an inhale as we lengthen the spine on the exhale either side, but just dropping the same ear towards the same shoulder, letting it float down a little bit. At this point, you could keep your hands by your side or you could opt to put one hand on your head just for a little bit of weight. You could send the other one out to the side if you wanted. Lots of different options, right? You could wiggle the fingers, you could lift the fingertips towards the sky, maybe a little movement. Still keeping that long spine and breathing. And then let's slowly release, bring the head back to center as we prepare for the other side. Taking an inhale to just bring that length into your spine. On the exhale, on the opposite side, bringing that ear towards that shoulder. And again, hands can stay by your side. You could bring them to your hips, or you can bring one up on top of your head just to add a little weight. Not force, but just a little weight. The other hand could come out to the side if you wish. Again, any of those previous options. Taking some breaths. And then let's release the hands down. Bring the head to center. Roll the shoulders. Take an inhale again to lengthen. On the exhale, let's drop the chin towards the chest. Getting a little stretch in the back of the neck. And then let's go ahead and inhale our arms out to the side, lifting the gaze to center. Let the shoulders soften down and inhale again. And on the exhale, turn your chin to look out over one shoulder. You should choose either side. And then bring your head through center, transition looking out over the other shoulder and letting those shoulders just soften down a little bit. Bringing the head back center and releasing down. Let's do a few shoulder rolls here. We're going to bend the arms as we sweep them up, bringing them behind the head, moving into some mini cows and cats, really focused on the upper part of the body. Now I'm in mountain pose. My knees are soft, a little bend in the knees, and I'm going to inhale and open, and then exhale, I'm going to tuck in a little bit. So I'm just, it's more so a cow cat, mini cow cat, in that upper spine versus our full cow cat. I'm just adding a little movement to my knees as I tuck in. I allow the knees to bend a little bit. Now from here, let's expand that movement again and just sweep those arms. So as we open, think more of your traditional cow and cat now. And as we close, we put more of a bend in the knees, hug those arms in. Inhaling as you open, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, excellent. Now let's just take those hands right on down to the thighs. I've got kind of a small version of chair here, right? Not deep down, but just up. And we're going to move into some standing cows and cats to get that full flexion and extension. So as you're ready, we let the belly fall and come into our cow. Then we tuck and round into our cat. Again, moving at your own pace, your own breath. Maybe you stay in one longer than the other and take an extra breath there if that feels good. But just getting some full movement in the spine. Maybe one more. And then let's slowly straighten up. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and keep my right leg grounded, crossing my left leg over, sweeping the left arm up, coming into a side stretch. You also could have the option of keeping your feet as they are. Taking a few breaths and then just sweep that arm back down. We're going to switch to the other side. 
So everything we do today, we do on both sides, of course. So if I say right and you want to start on your left, you can start on your left. All right, don't worry about it. One more on each side, just crossing that leg over, sweeping the arm, coming back through center. And then back through center. Excellent. Let's ground down on those feet again, coming to our tall mountain. We're going to add just a small twist as we continue to warm up the spine. So in our mountain pose, we're going to lift up that left heel, right heel, I'm sorry, <laughs> off the ground. And then we're going to take an inhale to lengthen the spine, maybe bringing the arms up. On the exhale, we're going to open and just twist towards that lifted heel, that, li that bent knee. Then we're going to come back center. Let the heel come down, lift the opposite one, and we twist towards the other side. Again, let that heel come down as you inhale center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now option, as you twist, you could choose to lift that foot off the ground and hold in a little bit of a balance pose, flexing that lifted foot, then releasing it down and switching to the other side. So again, that the toes could stay grounded, the heel could lift, or we could lift all the way up and then come back to center. If your arms are up, let's go ahead and just roll the wrist as we release them down. Excellent. So we're going to move into our first section, standing sun salutation. So if you do have a block, you're at home and you're practicing with a block and you want to use it now, that's a great thing you can put on the floor in front of you so that your hands can make contact with the floor. If your hands make contact with the floor, and you prefer not to use a block, you don't need to, but if you feel like you're dangling when you get to your forward folds, go ahead and choose something to find a purchase for your hands. Maybe a block in any of those heights can be a great option, okay? So I'll, I'll leave mine here to start with, and um, again, you don't need to use it, but you're welcome to, or something similar to that. So let's bend the knees, sweep the arms up, on an exhale, big bend in the knees, we come into a forward fold. Again, hands come down to the mat or to a block. Inhale as we rise to a half lift. Maybe the hands come to the shins or the thighs. Exhale as we soften and fold. Inhale as we bend the knees, really bend the knees. Exhale, push into the earth, pull the belly to the spine, lift through that deep core line as you inhale and lengthen. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale as you reach, exhale at a side bend, come on back to center, exhale, side bend, back to center. Let's open the cactus arms and then reach high and come back into a chair pose, sending the hips back, the knees back. Arms can be out in front of you, could be at heart center could be lifted. Again, choose what feels comfortable for you. Taking a few breaths here. And then from here, let's inhale and exhale down to our forward fold. Inhale as we rise to a half lift. Exhale as we soften and fold. Inhale as we really bend the knees. On the exhale, push into the earth, pull that belly to the spine, lift the gaze and unfurl. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale as you reach and add that side bend. Come on back to center. Exhale. Come on back to center. Open to cactus arms. Inhale as you reach. We're gonna bring those hands through and we're gonna come down right through heart center a couple more times. Inhaling up to your half lift. Exhale as you soften and fold. Inhale as you bend the knees. Exhale as you push into the earth, pull the belly to the spine. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, cactus arms. 
Inhale, let's rise up. We're coming right back down into that forward fold. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale to your forward fold. Inhale as you bend the knees. Exhale, push into the earth. Hug the belly in. Rise up. And one more time, we're coming right back down into our forward fold. Inhale to the half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you prepare. Exhale as you push into the earth. Pull the belly to the spine. Lift. And from here, let's go ahead and open the cactus arms. Inhale as we reach. And come on back to chair pose. All right, taking a minute to set, it, set in your chair pose, right? Setting the hips back, the knees back. We're going to add just a little bit of twisting. So we're going to bring our fingertips together, pushing into the opposite fingers to really activate the arms. On an inhale, we're going to lengthen. On an exhale, we're going to come back into chair pose and the upper body is going to twist slightly. And we're going to inhale and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Sending the hips back, the knees back into our chair pose. Keeping the knees focused forward as we bring that twisting movement into the upper body. One more on each side, and we will meet up in a chair pose. Excellent. From here, let's take an inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale as we come into a forward fold. Inhale as we rise to a half lift. Exhale as we soften a fold. Inhale as we bend the knees to prepare. On the exhale, push into the earth. Pull the belly to the spine. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale as you reach. And let's come back to heart center. From here, in this sun salutation, we're going to add a tree pose into our chair flow. So to do that, our right leg is going to be our standing leg. Again, if you have a preference for the other side. And it'll look like this. So we're going to open into a tree pose. Now, you can keep the heel, the toe on the ground. Heel could be on the foot like this. It could be like this. It could be part way up. You could bring it all the way up. However, we're going to flow for a little bit. So you may want to leave it more at the calf or to the floor versus bringing it up right now because we'll be flowing between tree and chair. So here's what that's going to look like. So we are going to come into a a chair pose, all right? And then we're gonna sweep the arms. Standing on that right leg, we're gonna to open to a tree, and then we're gonna come back to chair. So moving at your own pace. And again, you can bring that foot up to your inner thigh if you'd like. Otherwise, because we're flowing, maybe you keep it a little bit lower. And then on the next tree pose, let's set it up to be able to hold it for a little bit. So if you want to bring your foot up higher, this would be a great time. Choosing any location for your hands, heart center, lifted, down by your side, whatever feels good to you. Pulling that belly towards the spine to create this strong, strong trunk of a tree. A couple more breaths. And then slowly release that down. Shake that out a little bit before we switch to the other side. Take a few breaths. And then let's go to the other side. So the opposite foot is your standing foot. For me, it's going to be my left foot. It's for you, whichever one you didn't do. So we start with this chair pose. And then we bend the knees, sweep the arms up, and we come into tree. And then we come back down. So moving at your own pace, 
choosing where you want that tree pose foot to be. Again, we can bring it to this on top of the other foot. We can lift it. And you might choose one thing for one side and one thing for the other side. Let's do two more. And on that last one, go ahead and set it up to land in your tree, staying in your tree for a little bit. Taking a moment, choosing your hand location, lifting the chest, long spine. Awesome, one more breath. And then slowly bring that knee in, set that foot on the ground, redistribute that weight. Let's move through a little sun salutation. Bend the knees, sweep the arms. Exhale as you come into your forward fold. Inhale as you rise to your half lift. Exhale as you soften and fold. Inhale as you bend your knees to prepare. On the exhale, push into the earth, pull the belly to the spine, and rise. Let's roll the wrist, bring the arms down, and back to heart center. Taking a breath here. And we get ready to transition to our next set. So our next series is focused on warrior one. All right, so I'm gonna just set my block aside so it's not in the way. But we'll be moving through some warrior ones, some one-legged mountain again. Um, choosing what works right for you. That's, that's the thing about yoga where you are, right? It meets you where you are today, what you want today, what's your energy today, what energy do you want to cultivate? It's your practice, right? All right, so now we're coming into one-legged mountain towards the front of our mat. So we're going to keep the right leg standing. And we're gonna slowly lift that left leg up. Maybe we keep the toe on the mat if that feels better for you. Maybe we lift that leg up, really pulling the belly towards the spine, feeling the lift coming from the knee. Whoops. Wobbling a little bit is fine. Flexing that lifted foot. Choosing any hand position you want. Now let's take an inhale as we prepare to transition to warrior one. On the exhale, we're gonna step that lifted leg back, coming into warrior one. Take a minute just to adjust and find your warrior one stance. And go ahead and soften into your powerful warrior one. And as you're ready, we're gonna to begin to flow by inhaling to lengthen the spine, exhaling as we hinge, sweeping the arms back, Inhaling as we rise, moving at your own pace. And the next time you come all the way up, let's go ahead and stay in our warrior one. Taking an inhale to really find the length in the spine. On the exhale, let's bring the hands behind the back, interlacing, rolling the shoulders down and back as we prepare for humbling our warrior. So on an inhale, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, we're gonna bend forward, bringing the right shoulder towards the right knee, or inside of the right knee. Option to let those hands come over a little bit if that feels good, or keep them behind your back. And then as you're ready, let's really power into the feet, pull the belly to the spine, root down and rise up, warrior one. Excellent, let's let the hands come to the waist. At this point, we're gonna straighten that front leg Moving into pyramid pose. If you want to shorten your stance at all, you can. If this is a comfortable stance for you, you can stay right where you are. Inhaling as we lengthen the spine. Exhaling as we hinge. 
coming into pyramid. Lots of choices for our hands. Could be on our thigh, could be on our shin. We could sweep them behind us. We can even sweep them out in front of us. Okay, lots of different options. So choose what feels the best for you. Choose what meets you where you are right now. Keep breathing. Gaze is soft towards the ground so the neck is long. And then take an inhale, if you will, to prepare. On the exhale, let's return to warrior one. Excellent. Bringing those hands to heart center, we're going to lift up the back heel and pivot on that foot so we're in a high crescent lunge. As you're ready, maybe putting a little bounce in that step, we're going to come to our one-legged mountain. So we're going to power off of that standing leg and come back to the one-legged mountain where we started from. Taking a few breaths, slowly releasing that down, redistributing the weight between both feet, and here we go with our sun salutation. Bend the knees, sweep the arms. Exhale as we come into our forward fold. Inhale as we rise to a half lift. Exhale as we soften and fold. Inhale as we bend the knees to prepare. On the exhale, push into the earth, pull the belly to the spine and rise. Inhale as you unfurl those arms. Exhale as we bring the hands to heart center. Fantastic. We're going to transition through the same sequence on the other side. So opposite leg becomes our standing leg. All right. So for me, that's the left leg. For you, it's whichever one you're going to do. So as you're ready, we're going to prepare by really pulling the belly towards the spine, finding this long, strong spine. Maybe your hands come to heart center if that's a good spot for you. And as you're ready, on an exhale, lift that knee, lifting that foot off of the ground, flexing the foot, breathing, finding your focal point to stare at. And then take an inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're going to step back into a warrior one. Once you're in that warrior one, don't hesitate to, to just find your best stance for warrior one, angling that back foot in the way that feels right. Front knee and front toes are tracking forward. We come into this strong warrior one. And let's go ahead and begin to flow it, inhaling as we lengthen, exhaling as we hinge, sweeping the arms, inhale as we rise, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. And we'll rise to our warrior one. Take your time. From here, let's go ahead and inhale to lengthen. On the exhale, let's sweep our hands behind our back, interlacing, rolling the shoulders down and back, preparing for a humble warrior. So as you're ready, inhaling to lengthen the spine. On the exhale, we're going to hinge forward, bringing the left shoulder towards the inside of the left knee. Hands can stay right where they are. You could choose to bring, let them float over your head if you wanted. Breathing. And then let's really power into the feet, pull the belly to the spine as we root down and rise back up. That's strong warrior one. Excellent, bringing your hands to heart center. Moving into a pyramid pose, pose again. You could shorten your stance if you prefer, or you can leave it as is. We're going to straighten that front leg. Again, hinging from the hips, coming into our version of pyramid pose. Excellent. And choosing your hand location, maybe your thighs, maybe your shins, maybe you sweep them behind you. 
Maybe you send them out in front of you. Neck is long and strong. Gaze is towards the ground. And from here, let's go ahead and put a bend back in that front leg, returning warrior one. Excellent. Lifting that back heel up and pivoting that back foot so all 10 toes are forward. We're going to transition to our one-legged mountain. So hands could stay lifted or you could bring them to heart center. And as you're ready, we power off of that back foot and power into this front leg, our standing leg, coming into our one-legged mountain. Breathing. And slowly allowing that foot to come down. Again, shaking it out, moving that weight around. Let's transition with a standing sun salutation, bending the knees, sweeping the arms. Exhale as we forward fold. Inhale as we half lift. Exhale as we soften and fold. Inhale as you bend the knees to prepare. On the exhale, push into the earth. Pull the belly to the spine. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale as you reach. And exhale, go ahead and bring the hands to heart center. Pausing for a few breaths in mountain pose. From here, if you are standing at the front of your mat, go ahead and just walk yourself to the middle of the mat. If you are not on a mat, no worries. You're just coming to a, a, a place where you can continue your movement. So we're gonna start in a warrior two. So I'm gonna begin by heel toeing my feet apart. Then I'm gonna open the front foot, coming into a warrior two, finding the right angle for that back foot. And then once you feel nice and solid in your feet, adding your strong warrior two arms, gazing out over that front middle finger. Excellent. From here, let's flip the palms up and let's inhale as we lengthen the front leg. Exhale as we open. So we're straightening that front leg as we're bringing the pinkies together and then we're coming back down. One more. And then let's flip that palm down, warrior two. From here, we're gonna flip the front palm back up, drop the back palm and come into a reverse warrior. And back to warrior two. One more time, front, flip the front palm, flip, and come back to warrior two. Excellent, moving into a side angle. So we're gonna to reach towards that front thigh, letting that hand come down to the thigh, it can come down to the floor. We're gonna let the back arm come down around and up. So again, choosing your variation for where you are right now, meeting you where you are. Taking a few breaths here, maybe adding a few arm circles if that feels good. A little opening in the shoulders, the chest, and then meeting in your extended side angle from here. Let's power into the feet, pull the belly to the spine, warrior two. Straightening that front leg for reverse triangle. And back to warrior two. Again, straightening that front leg, getting ready for a full triangle. So maybe on your next inhale, you really take that length up with you. And then on the exhale, you reach towards that front leg you let the hips soften so they slide back and we open up into triangle pose. Maybe keeping that arm reaching towards the sky or bringing it behind the back in a bind. Choosing the best spot for your gaze today, down at your foot, up at your hand. Again, what, where you are today. Taking a few breaths because yoga meets you where you are today, yoga where you are. From here, we're gonna transition back to our warrior two. 
So putting a bend in the knee, pulling the belly of the spine, powering in, whoosh, warrior two. Let's let those arms come down. We're gonna bring that front foot in. We're gonna open the other foot. So we have our warrior two facing the opposite direction as you're ready. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and flip the palms. And again, we're gonna inhale as we straighten that front leg, bring the palms together, and then we open to warrior two. So flowing as you wish. One more, and we'll meet in a warrior two. Excellent. Let's flip that front palm to reverse our warrior, and then come back to warrior two. One more time, flipping that palm to reverse our warrior, and back to warrior two. Excellent. From here, let's move into extended side angle, reaching towards the front, letting that front hand come to the front thigh or bringing it down to the ground. Again, your choice. And if it's on the thigh, maybe you want to add some arm circles or if it's down here, adding those arm circles. Again, it's up to you. And then let's go ahead, come into that extended side angle, power into both feet. Warrior two, straightening that front leg for a reverse triangle. Back to warrior two. Straightening that front leg again, moving into a full triangle. So letting the hips soften as they gently pull towards the back, opening up to the side. Maybe this hand comes to the thigh, the shin, the ground. Again, and that arm might come up above you or you might bring it behind your back in a bind, choosing the location for your gaze, breathing, and from here, releasing that arm if it's in a bind. On your exhale, prepare to rise by really hugging the belly in and up, back to your warrior two. Excellent, let's go ahead and bring those arms down Bring those feet parallel. Moving into a section with our wide leg forward fold. So, ta-da, we happen to be there anyhow, right? All right, so from here, let's go ahead and bring the toes out and the heels in. Then we'll put a little bend in the knees and come down into your temple, your goddess pose. Lots of different names for this pose. All right, so just check Check that you have the right distance apart you need, and if not, go ahead and narrow it or, or widen it. And we want the knees and the toes moving in that same direction. All right, so they're out to the side. Let's just start with some five-pointed star and goddess sweeps, just moving at your own pace. Moving through your breath, moving where you are. Meeting in a five-pointed star. Excellent. From here, let's go ahead and bring our hands through to heart center, coming deep into our temple or goddess pose, all right? So from here, we're gonna open the arms strong. Whoosh. Fingertips to the sky if that's comfortable for you, otherwise straight out. Then we reach to one side. We come back to open strong. We reach to the other side. We come back center. We hinge from the hips, sweeping our arms down a little bit, and then we rise as we come through a five-pointed star and back to goddess. Opening. Reaching, opening, reaching, opening, hinging from the hips, sweeping down, straightening the legs as we rise. One more time, back through heart center, open strong, and a reach, 
open strong and you reach open strong hinging at the hips come on up and this time we'll just meet with our hands at heart center we'll open strong tuck the thumbs in wrap the fingers around the thumbs let's roll the wrist breathing switch directions on the wrist and then let's bring them through heart center sweep them up let's leave the legs long this time as we bring the hands to heart center excellent from here we're going to move into some sun sweeps taking up lots of space moving as it feels good so starting in either direction we're going to sweep the arms as we bend one leg and straighten the other leg then we bring our hands through heart center so this big opening motion and after you've done some of these in one direction then switching to the other direction and moving in a way that feels good where you are right now that go ahead and come into your five-pointed star taking some breaths bringing the hands through to heart center let's go ahead and pivot on the feet a little bit so that we're in more of a wide leg position feet are parallel more parallel parallel hands come in front of us backs of hands come to touch let's sweep them behind us interlacing rolling the shoulders down and back and breathing now moving into a wide leg forward fold from here options you can keep your hands interlaced as you have them now or you could bring them to your hip creases inhaling as you lengthen the spine and then on the exhale we begin to hinge forward coming into a forward fold Excellent. Now your hands can stay right where they are on your hips. They can come down to the ground. I did say this was a hands-free practice, so you don't have to put your hands on the ground. They could also come to your ankles if you wish. And there you go. Then hands are off the ground. Maybe you nod your head a little bit just to release any, any holding in your neck. Nod your head yes. Nod your head. I, I always just like saying nod your head. No, I always feel like it should be, it's the opposite way of yes. And then just come back to center. Breathing. Excellent. Preparing to come up. We're going to make sure we have a bend in our knees and just slowly walk our hands up. We've been upside down a little bit. Sometimes we have to let the gyros get spun up. So once you come up, roll the shoulders down the back. Excellent. From here, let's heel toe our feet together to finish out this segment with an eagle pose. So again, coming to mountain, take a minute to just reset your mountain. Maybe you roll back and forth from between the fronts and backs of your feet. Maybe roll a little bit side to side. Just getting that engagement in the, in the earth, in your mat, the carpet. Maybe you're out on the grass. That would be awesome. All right. So moving into an eagle pose. Let's go ahead and sweep our arms out to the side. And this time, let's take the left arm under the right and choosing your version of eagle arms. Maybe they come to your shoulders. Maybe they come into a wrap, okay? Now let's go ahead and put a little bend in our knees, just softening those knees. So lots of options for your eagle. You can lift the left leg up, crossing it over to the right, bringing that toe to the ground, okay? Still got that bend in the knees, spine is long. You could choose to wrap that foot around the leg, okay? 
in your ego, your choice. Breathing, finding some stillness. From here, let's get ready to release our ego. Whoosh, uncrossing. And we're gonna go right to the other side. So with this time, we're gonna bring the right arm under the left. We're gonna cross the right leg over the left. And again, as you're ready, got a little bend in the knees. We can have any version of eagle arms that fits for us today. And again, that foot can be on the ground, or you could go into an eagle wrap where you wrap it all around, okay? Or keep that toe on the ground. Coming back to your eagle. Spine is long. If you come out of your eagle like I did, you can just come right back into it. Breathing. And then let's prepare to come back out of our eagle. Excellent. Moving right into a forward fold. Let's come on down. Inhale as you come to your half lift. Exhale as you soften and fold. Inhale as you bend the knees. Exhale, pushing into the earth, pulling the belly to the spine as you root down and rise up. And then let's sweep our hands behind our back, interlacing, rolling the shoulders down and back, lifting the gaze, or possibly bringing the fist to the small of our back. Breathing. Awesome. Fantastic, fantastic practicing together. Now from here, let's go ahead, put a bend in the elbows, all right? And let's bring our fist to the right hip, tuck that right elbow in, and then let's let the right ear just float towards the right shoulder, similar to what we did in the beginning, slight variation. And then bringing the head back center, hands come center, taking a breath, and same thing on the other side. Bringing the hands to the opposite, opposite hip, tucking that elbow in, and then just letting the ear float towards the shoulder. Do a nice stretch. Bringing the head back center, hands come center. Let's let the chin drop towards the chest. Excellent. From there, let's roll the shoulders a few times. Again, coming back to where we started from, we're going to come into a mini version of a chair pose for some cows and cats. So just taking your time moving through your cows and your cats, keeping a little bend in the knees. After a few cows and cats, go ahead and slowly roll up to standing. Excellent. Choosing either side to cross in, okay? So I'm gonna leave my right leg ground, I'm gonna cross the left leg over, and I'm gonna sweep that left arm up and over. Stretching, breathing, releasing, switching to the other side. Taking a few breaths and let's switch back to the first side. One more on each side. Come 
coming back to center. Let's inhale the arms up. And then as we reach the top, let's interlace. We're going to push and round. Okay, thinking of your cat pose a little bit right now. Inhaling. And then on the exhale, pull the belly to the spine. Come up to standing. Let the shoulders soften down. Slight bend in that elbow. Just some slow movements as we cool down and stretch. Again, releasing the hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders down and back, lifting the gaze. Releasing, bringing the gaze center, hand center, bring the arms out to the side. We're gonna turn our chin to look out over one shoulder. And then let's turn our head to look out over the other shoulder. Breathing. Coming back to center. Let's let the arms come down. Chin comes to the chest. And let's begin to roll the shoulders again. Just bringing the shoulders up to the ears and down and back. And then let the shoulders soften down. Go bend in the knees. And as we lengthen, we're going to bring the shoulders up to the ears, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. On the exhale, just release. Again, inhaling, we're taking all this energy up, 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 and release. One more time. Releasing down. Excellent. All right. Fantastic. From here, last couple stretches we're going to do. I'm going to just back up a little bit. Taking one foot, switch, shifting your weight to one foot, bringing the other foot. Maybe you bring it out in front of you and hands can be at the hips. Okay. And we begin to roll out that ankle. Maybe you bend it so you're more in your one-legged mountain pose, if that feels better for you. Maybe you even hold it. All right. All right, so any of those options can work for you. Then set that foot down, move side to side a little bit, and same thing on the other side. So we can bring it out in front of us and roll that ankle one direction and the other, pointing and flexing, or we can lift it up into mountain and do that once we have our balance, or we can even hold that. Right, so choosing which option you prefer. We're still keeping that core pulled in to support us. And then let that foot come down. We're going to do our last sun salutation to seal our practice nice and slowly. So just adding extra breaths as we go, inhaling, reaching, 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 full body stretch. And then hands come through heart center into a slow forward fold. Taking a few breaths in this forward fold. Again, maybe nodding the head a little bit. Maybe you even walk the fingertips to one side of the foot, the outside of one foot, and then walk them through center. Just finding some nice releasing stretches. And then bring those hands back to center. We are going to gently walk our hands up to our thighs this time, coming into a half lift. Gaze is towards the ground. Taking a few breaths here. Softening back to that forward fold, putting a bend back in the knees. From here, let's slowly prepare to get to come up. So deep, deep bend in the knees. And on your exhale, allow yourself to push into the earth, pull the belly to the spine. So we're lifting from that deep core line. Come up to standing. Again, taking as many breaths in the slow sun salutation as you want. And opening the cactus arms. Inhale as you reach those arms. 
Exhale as you bring the hands to heart center. Inhaling as you sweep those arms. Staying here for a moment. Adding some extra breaths as we reach with one hand, reach with the other, side to side a few times. And then let's reach with both hands, really reaching up. And then as we let the arms just float down by our side, we let the chin float to the chest. Taking some breaths. Maybe you do a slight movement from side to side, just a small movement, not a full circle. Again, if that feels good, finding what you need, meeting you where you're at. And then allow the head to relax at the center, a little bend in the knees as we just bring the head back to midline. We bring the hands to heart center, bringing all that heat together. Now, because this is a standing practice, you have many choices for Shavasana, right? You can find wherever you are, maybe you're outside, you are, oh gosh, you have your feet in green grass, but taking a few moments just to take some slow inhales and exhales, Letting yoga meet you where you're at. Letting Shavasana meet you where you're at. As you take some deep inhales and exhales. As you move through those breaths, I want to take this time to thank you for joining me on our own journeys, right in this standing practice, for letting yoga meet us where we're at. I appreciate the opportunity to practice with you today. I appreciate the strength in each and every one of you. Be well, take care of yourselves, Thank you. Again, thanks for practicing with me today. This practice you can use in its entirety as you saw it, or again, you could do a bit of the warm up, but and then choose one of the other segments, the standing sun sal salutations with the tree flow, or a warrior one flow, or a warrior two, or when we went into our wide legged flow, right? and then end with a little bit of the cool down. So a practice that can meet you where you're at, needing no hands on the mat, needing no mat. Again, thanks for, thanks for practicing and being part of this great yoga community. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.